The cornerstone of our ABC event is the classic ABC proper, where we have people come and navigate a course that we set up in our parking lot with their own autonomous vehicles. Most vehicles these days tend to be RC chassis, like a 10th scale or an 8th scale RC chassis. We see some really big ones. There are a number of uh, people who have built their own vehicles, their own chassis, generally a four-wheel thing. One notable exception was we had a pair of inverse pendulum bots. Now, if you don't know what those are, those are like the two-wheel things that go around, they stand up proper, uh, and they navigate the course. So the rules for ABC, you start out with 300 points. Every second that you're out on the course, navigating the course, you get one second, one point decremented from your 300 points. And we have a number of obstacles as well. And if you navigate the obstacles, we will add points to your score, okay? So by the end of the time around the track, you have a time which is decrementing and then bonus points per obstacle that you've navigated. The track this year is a little bit different than it has been in previous years for a couple of reasons. Number one, we took on the power racing series to do in our parking lot as well. So that needed some space. But not only that, people are able to navigate a bigger course more easily with stuff like GPS. And so we wanted to kind of make this a little bit uh, different. The track is a little bit smaller and therefore it's a little bit narrower as well. Barrier material is um, hay bales and we still have the obstacles that we had before. We've got the barrels, we've got the hoop, we've got the discombobulator which is a giant spinning turntable that you have to navigate over. In years previous with the discombobulator, we've had some people actually just jump right over the turntable. This year, we put a ball pit at the far end of that, so if they jump too far, they end up in the ball pit and the run is done. That tends to complicate the run for the faster bots. This year, we also have a, a dirt section of track. We've had a number of competitors who will do what's called dead reckoning where they're counting revolutions of their drive shaft to see just how far they are. I'm gonna go this far, then I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna go this far, then I'm gonna turn. And on this track, you can actually choose which way you wanna go. So the dirt section is not very good for the dead reckoning vehicles. So they have to go a longer path. We've also done staggered starts this year. Because the track is narrower and we try to run five at a time, we run five per heat, we'll let one go and then we'll give them 10 seconds or get, let the one bot, the first bot get out of ways and then we'll start the next one. That way, you're not so much worried about a crash with another competitor, you're worried about your own time. And we saw uh, some really good times on our track this year, like down to like 20 seconds or less to actually navigate. Oh,